and welcome to the sixth news broadcast of the UFL Last Channel. My name is Vu Thi Tiao Sha, lecturer of the English faculty, staying with you throughout the program. Here are the highlights of the sixth news broadcast for quarter two of 2022. Official survey on accidental quality assessment in higher education at University of Foreign Language Studies, the University of Danang, UFL UD. The ninth meeting session of the University Council of UFL UD. UFL UD's conference on summarizing periodical working results of the University Parties Committee in the first half of 2022 and implementing tasks for the second half of year 2022. Final round and award ceremony of speaking contest in English, French, Chinese and Japanese. Online consultation program, enrollment and career orientation. Meeting to strengthen directing board of Central Vietnam Foreign Language Training Institutions Club and to announce new club membership. From June 27 to July 2, 2022, UFLSUD, in collaboration with the Center for Education Accreditation, Vietnam National University, VNUCEA, conducted the official survey on external quality assessment in higher education for its second cycle. At the opening ceremony, Dr. Tha Thi Thu Hien, director of VNUCEA, highly appreciated the ceaseless efforts of UFLSUD in implementing its educational quality assurance and accreditation, fulfilling its social responsibilities, as well as constantly upgrading the quality of training programs, scientific research, and community service amid the context of safe and flexible adaptation to effective control of COVID-19 pandemic. At the closing ceremony, Associate Professor Dr. Zheng Hu Fuk, Rector of UFLSUD, extended his sincere thanks to the experts of Actinal Assessment Delegation, leaders, former senior leaders from prestigious domestic and international higher education institutions, who all together joined hands with UFLSUD to complete its official survey on Actinal Quality Assessment at institutional level. The preliminary results and findings of the external assessment for the second cycle will help UFLSUD make a further step in realizing its educational philosophy, mission and vision with an aim of enhancing the training quality and better meeting the needs of skilled social workforce, thereby affirming the prestige and brand name of UFLSUD in the society. On June 10, 2022, the University Council of UFLSUD Working Term 2020-2025 held the ninth meeting session in order to report the results of implementing the University Council's resolutions promulgated at the eighth meeting session to approve some documents under the University Council authority and to conduct performance evaluation of the President of the University Council, Rector and Vice Rectors in the academic year of 2020. 2021-2022. On the afternoon of June 24, 2022, UFLSUD's conference on summarizing periodical working results of the University Parties Committee in the first half of year 2022 and implementing tasks for the second half of year 2022 was organized by the University Parties Committee to summarize the working results in the first half of 2022 and deploy important tasks of the second half of the same year. Democracy and collective intelligence among the party's committee members have been widely promoted. Also, under the direction of the leaders at all levels, the strong consensus of university staff, lecturers and students, UFLS has determined to accomplish all the assigned political tasks and gained outstanding achievements in different aspects. On the afternoon of May 29, 2022, the final round and award ceremony for the speaking contest in English, French, Chinese and Japanese for high school students was held at Hall A of UFLSUD. 
The contest was hosted by UFLSUD in collaboration with the Department of Education and Training of Da Nang for high school students in the city. This was the first time the contest was organized to give students the opportunity to learn and improve their foreign language skills and demonstrate their eloquence. On the morning of May 15, 2022, UFLSUD successfully organized the online consultation program Enrollment and Career Orientation in 2022 on the university fan page. The program attracted the attention and participation of a large number of students and parents. The program provided the latest information on formal admission to UFLSUD in 2022 and answered students' questions, thereby helping them feel secure in choosing the right career path for the future. On April 4, 2022, UFLSUD, in cooperation with the Central Vietnam Foreign Language Training Institutions Club, a part of the Association of Vietnam Universities and Colleges, organized the meeting to strengthen the board directing and announce the admission of new club members. In his opening speech, Associate Professor Dr. Jung Hoo Phuc, Rector of UFLSUD, said that the club has managed to maintain its operation and help various activities even during the hard time of COVID-19 pandemic. Mr. Phạm Ngọc Lung, head of club supporting committee, expressed his wish to quickly finalize the operational me mechanism of the club and suggested rotating the organization of club activities and head of the club directing board. Mr. Leung also recommended the cooperation with the British Council in organizing club activities in the upcoming time. On the morning of May 19, 2022, UFLSUD solemnly held the graduation ceremony for nearly 1,200 students. Speaking at the ceremony, Associate Professor Dr. Nguyen Van Long, Vice Rector of the University, highly appreciated the efforts of new bachelors, masters and PhDs during the training process at the University. The Vice Rector hoped the new bachelors, masters and PhDs could continue fostering their knowledge and skills gained in the process of studying and training, achieve success in their career and life, as well as contribute to the development of the country. The event introducing Master Program MBA in Entrepreneurship and Innovation in Japan was organized online via Zoom platform by the Faculty of Japanese Language and Culture in collaboration with Chico Academy Japan on April 27, 2022 in order to provide information about the cooperation and joint training program between Chico Academy Japan and University of Foreign Languages, the University of Da Nang. Through the event, students were also provided with specific details on tuition fee exemption and reduction policies, assistance in finding affordable housing, facilitating and introducing part-time jobs. On the afternoon of April 9, 2022, the opening ceremony and training session for the 81st Test of Proficiency in Korean took place and ended with success. In the opening speech, Associate Professor Dr. Dun Hu Phuc asserted the important role of UFLSUD in the organization of international tests. Dr. Phuc committed that the university could strictly and properly implement the articles of the MOU signed on March 24, 2022 with the representative office of the Division of Overseas Korean Education in Vietnam. On the morning of June 30th, 2022, UFLSUD received Professor Bualam Aliwat, Chairman of University Council, Institute University of Technology, the University of Nicotiage, France. At the meeting, Associate Professor Dr. Nguyen Van Long, Vice Rector of UFLSUD, extended a warm welcome to representatives of IUT and strongly asserted that this offered a great opportunity for two universities to share their intentions of cooperative strategies.
On the morning of June 24, 2022, UFLSUD received Mr. Kazuyoshi Sukagoshi, President of Japan Internship Support Association. At the meeting, representatives from Japan Internship Support Association talked about internship opportunities for UFLS students in Okinawa, Japan. This was a precious opportunity for students to travel to Japan, experience a professional working environment, and engage themselves in cultural exchange programs with the Japanese. On May 30, 2022, Associate Professor Dr. Zheng Hu Fuk, Rector of UFLS UD, and Dr. Hun Ngoc Mai Ka, Vice Rector of UFLS UD, together with leaders of the Department of Research and International Cooperation and the Faculty of Japanese Language and Culture, cordially welcomed Mr. Ando Toshiki, former director, and Mr. Doi Katsuma, new director of the Japan Foundation Center for Cultural Exchange in Vietnam. At the meeting, the two parties discussed the current and upcoming cooperation activities. Associate Professor Dr. Zheng Hu Fuk, Rector of the University, sent his congratulations to the new director, Joy Katsuma, sharing the university achievements in Japanese language training and expressing his hope for closer cooperation in the future. On June 3, 2022, UFLSUD successfully organized a university-level student scientific research conference for the academic year 2021-2022. According to Associate Professor Dr. Zheng Hu Fuk, Rector of UFLS UD, this academic year has witnessed an increase in scientific research projects, both in quality and diversity. He highly appreciated valuable research findings and presented in these projects. Besides, the projects demonstrated their high practicality and wide applicability in teaching and learning context, thereby helping to cultivate the capacity for active learning, scientific research, and creative thinking among university students. On the morning of June 20, 2022, UFLSUD had a meeting with representatives of Great Consulting Company and JTEC Vietnam Company. At the meeting, Associate Professor Dr. Zheng Hu Fuk, Rector of UFLSUD, highlighted the need to provide ongoing assistance in employment opportunities for students. Representatives from Create Consulting Company and JTEC Vietnam Company Limited introduced their activities regarding career orientation and development, employment skill set, training support, and human resource development after graduation. In order to enhance students' foreign language skills and soft skills, UFLSUD hosted a talk show under the topic Strengthening Students' Soft Skills in the Era of the Fourth Industrial Revolution. On the morning of May 29, 2022, the talk show is specifically organized for nearly 1,000 students pursuing high-quality program at the University of Science and Technologies, the University of Danang, USD, UD. The special guest speakers featured in this event were Dr. Zheng Minh Tung, CEO and founder of EduTap Academy, and Mr. Li Ngoc Gong, Deputy Director of Human Resources and Training at Danang Golden Bay Hotel. This is part of the extracurricular program which is particularly designed for students pursuing English language program under the cooperation framework between UFLSUD and USCUD. On the morning of May 28, 2022, the seminar Industry Linkages in Developing and Improving the Quality of Foreign Language Training was held online by the Central Region Foreign Language Training Club, which was a continuing of the success of the club's activities hosted by UFLSUD. Through the seminar, the rector of UFLSUD, the president of the club, hoped that the participants could share their innovating methods, programs, and contents, taking advantage of the digital transformation trained to update content, teaching, learning methods, and training program in order to effectively boost industry linkages in developing and improving training quality. On the morning of May 26, 2022, UFLSUD held the signing ceremony of the cooperation agreement between the university and the Sun Group. 
The signing ceremony formalized the cooperation and marked a milestone for the relationship between the university and the Sun Group. This could be the beginning of a promising cooperation journey between the university and the group in the fields of training, developing professional skills, providing high-quality human resources, brand communication, and student support. On the Sunday morning of April 17, 2022, the final round of the English Talent Contest Sunshine COVID-19 Time was successfully organized by the Faculty of English at Hall A, UFLSUD. The contest commenced in July 2021, offering students of the Faculty of English UFLSUD as well as English language fans among students across the University of Da Nang invaluable opportunities to articulate stories of the sunshine, i.e. the positive things amidst the complicated and prolonged COVID-19 pandemic. The talk show Managing Emotions, Controlling Life welcomed a special guest, Ms. Global Entrepreneur Phạm Huệ Dan. The program was held on May 6, 2022, attracting a large number of students from the Faculty of Japanese Language and Culture. With more than 15 years of experience working in large domestic and foreign companies and corporations, Ms. Global Entrepreneur Phạm Huệ Dan shared how to practice communication skills, improving voice quality and especially how to master emotions to overcome negative thoughts and how to nurture a healthy mind, body and spirit. On the afternoon of April 29, 2022, UFLSUD opened the Korean Space, which is a joint project developed by the Consulate General of the Republic of Korea in Da Nang and the Korea Foundation for International Culture Exchange with the purpose of creating a Korean culture-rich space for lecturers and students of the university. The Korean space opens with the aspiration to introduce a new image of the Korean culture. This is a place for lecturers and students of the University of Foreign Languages to seek for and learn more information about the people and country of Korea. On the evening of April 27, 2022, the Veterans Association, in collaboration with the Youth Union, the Student Union of the UFLSUD, held a screening of the movie Red Dawn at Ho A. This event is to celebrate the 47th anniversary of the National Reunification Day. Through the movie, the organizing committee wishes to propagate to students the dedication and sacrifices of young female soldiers who volunteered in the National Liberation War as well as to raise patriotism among students. This is an event organized by the Faculty of Japanese Language and Culture in collaboration with the Rice for Korea on April 26, 2022, attracting a large number of students from the faculty in the audience. Participating in the program, students had the opportunities not only to learn and orient their future jobs through the CQI self-analysis test, but also listen to real learning and working experiences in Japan from the alumni of the faculty. On the morning of April 26, 2022, the Student Union of UFLSUD welcomed and had a working session with the delegation from the Executive Board of the Vietnam Student Union in Da Nang to inspect the union's work and students' activities. At the meeting, Dr. Huynh Ngoc Mai Ka, Vice Rector of the University, delivered a directing speech. Accordingly, the student union of the university need to take into consideration the existing potentials of the students of the university's student union in building more activities with appropriate skills and efficiency, but not consuming too much energy, especially putting more focus on activities connecting students with businesses. On April 21, 2022, University of Foreign Languages, the University of Da Nang, held a talk show with the topic Reading and Startup. This is part of a series of events in the 2022 Reading Week of the University of Foreign Languages, the University of Da Nang. The guest speaker was Mr. Nguyen Huai Nam, an expert in soft skills training, personal and business development, director of Viet Faith Training Company, a successful young person. 
On the morning of April 18, 2022, UFOSUD solemnly organized the Book and Reading Culture Week 2022 with the theme, Sewing Happiness Through the Pages of the Book. The activities taking place at the Book and Reading Culture Week 2022 of UFLSUD had a great implication in propagating the culture of book reading. This event is held annually in order to celebrate the Vietnam Reading Day, April 21st, which helps arouse the interest in and passion for reading among students, lecturers and staff of the university. On the morning of April 4, 2022, a meeting with Laotian students took place at the dormitory of University of Economics, the University of Da Nang, on the occasion of traditional Punbi May holiday of 2022 of the People's Democratic Republic of Laos. The meeting was organized with the presence of representatives from the Department of Student Affairs, Department of Research and International Cooperation, Faculty of Foreign Language Teacher Education, Faculty of International Studies, the Youth Union and Student Associations, lecturers and students, and Laotian peoples who are currently studying at UFLS. At the meeting, UFLS participants and students had a chance to experience important rituals of the traditional Pun Pi May Tet holiday of Laos, which was held with warmth and solemnness. The meeting was aimed at strengthening the friendship and cooperation of students and young people of the two nations. On the morning of April 16, 2022, leaders of UFLSUD had a meeting with representatives of Dong Nai Thok Bang Smart Limited Company in order to establish cooperation and organize interview sessions for recruiting Chinese and English staff for the company. At the meeting, representatives of the two sides discussed and agreed on the policy for cooperation in internship, recruitment and training, especially for the human resource specialized in Chinese and English. On the morning of April 23, 2022, at UFLSUD, more than 430 students participated in the university blood donation campaign. Over the years, the number of people who have registered to donate blood and the amount of collected blood have continuously increased. This shows that this meaningful program has touched the heart and inspired a lot of young people on the spirit of sharing, willing to work for the sake of others with the message, blood donation saving lives, yours and mine. On the evening of April 18, 2022, the final round of Miss and Mr. UD 2022 contest with the theme of Shining Pearls was held with great success by the Da Nang University Youth Union and Student Association at Trung Vuong Theatre, Da Nang City. UFLSUD had four candidates joining the final round. Throughout the intense and serious rounds, the candidates presented to audience highly confident and energetic performances with their shining beauty in the appearance, the soul and the mind. The highest prize of the contest, the title Miss UD 2022, called with the name Deng Thi Hong Linh, students of Faculty of French, with the crown worth more than 100 million VND and other valuable awards from the board of organizers and sponsors. Student Le Cong Vinh Tường, out of Faculty of International Studies, won the first runner-up prize. On May 15, 2022, the Atlas team of UFLS won the first gold medal in the 12th Sports Festival of Da Nang University students in 2022. Student Thai Thị Kim Ngân, Class 20 CNTTM01, won the gold medal in Women's 800 Sprint. Student Fang Trung Bã Nguyên, Class 21 CNA CLC01, won the silver medal in Women's 100 Meter Sprint and bronze medal in Women's Long Jump. 
On the evening of May 6, 2022, at the Jungfung Theater of Danang, UFLSUD hosted the musical festival for the staff of university across Danang City in order to create an opportunity for them to meet, exchange, strengthen solidarity and mutual understanding. The festival took place with great success. All performances from different universities was developed graciously and rich in both form and concept. Thank you for watching. Goodbye and see you again.